Nikki from Awesome Crafty Gamer, and today I thought it would be fun if I play this, like, visual novel type thing. It's called Dangerous Fellows, and I think it's a zombie survival. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun to do, so I guess let's get started. There we go. Alright. I don't know how to work this, let's see. If you log in as a guest, your story won't be saved. Are you going to be okay with throwing away all those memorable moments with us? Oh my goodness! It's not okay. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. Oh my goodness, he was just too cute. I could not, like, do that. The dangerous fellows faced in the dangerous world. Stay tuned for more updates. Alright, this is gonna be lit. Let's play it. Oh, there's a prologue. Oh my goodness. The world has changed. My hometown, where I was born and raised, is now taken over by... <laughs> zombies? <laughs> it is zombie survival. Ah! Freaky monsters! Got no idea what's happened. Oh, the grammar's a little jumbled up. I think it's a Japanese game, so... Just a, a warning. Since that day, everything's changed. A few days ago. Bye, Mom. Oh, my mom's cute. Watch out on your way to school, dear. I <laughs> mean, get the zombies. <laughs> Why? Is something up? They said there's a protest. I heard on the news this morning. The school didn't say anything. It should be fine. You're right. They'd have called if something was up. Better get ready for work then. Oh, I almost forgot, Mom. What is it, hon? Let's go out for dinner tonight. Someplace nice. Sure. It's been a while since we ate out. I'm going to try to do a different voice for each of them. Protest? No way! It's taken the government too long to make the announcement about the unknown virus. <gasps> this is so cool. But there's some kind of epidemic. And if you get infected, you turn into this bloodthirst zombie. The infected are mentally dead, but still physically functioning. They are the undead. And they prey on innocent people dominated by their killer instinct. Um, I almost got killed myself, too. It's still very dangerous out here. The pungent smell of the rotting body, the cloudy eyes. It's all extremely terrifying. I wish it was all a bad dream. So far, I've learned that First, you get infected by direct contact with their blood or saliva. Even the smallest bite can turn you into a flesh-eating beast. It's horrible just even to think about it. I never want to become one. I don't think anybody wants to. Second, symptoms arise with an hour of infection. This is a useful piece of information. And finally, the most devastating fact is that its origin and treatment are still unknown. Oh my goodness, everyone's gonna die. So basically, things are not looking good. I just have to stick it out, stick out as long as I can until someone finds treatment. I'm af I'm afraid of death, but I'm also afraid of being alone. I'm becoming more skeptical about the future. I wonder what happened to other people. I haven't seen one soul since I faced a zombie for the first time on the way to school. I hope my mom and friends are okay. Where are they? I spent all day running away from the zombies. I want to go home. I know I can't, though. I've been hiding in empty houses, moving from one place to another every day like a nomad. How long will I have to do this? Food is running out. I must go out and find some food. I've been talking to myself much lately. It's pretty quiet outside. Now is the time. I can't just sit here and starve to death footsteps. Strange. It's too quiet. I don't see any zombies. There's no sign of life here. It should be a good sign, but something isn't right. Well, it's not like I have other choices. I contain my fear and firmly hold on to the strap on my bag. I take careful steps into the grocery store and look for some food. Food is the most critical thing in this situation. Oh my goodness, do you guys see that? It's all on the floor. 
To save time, I sweep off the shelf with my arm and stuff everything into my bag. <laughs> I guess you don't have to pay. Thank goodness there are still some cookies and chocolate left here. Thank you. I know how you feel. I take a last look around as I zip up my bag. Today's my lucky day. Maybe I can check out the place for a bit. I might find something useful. As I turn, as I turn towards the dimmed corner. <sighs> oh no, it's a zombie. Grrr. Gosh, what was I thinking? The yucky smell. It's gotta be the sign. Praying that it's not what I think it is, I turn to see where the noise is coming from. Grrr. <laughs> I can't do something else. It's more like... Brains. I see a zombie staring, staggering in the corner of my eye. I can't hear it, it cracking. I can hear it cracking bones and clamping its fangs. Oh, you can hear it. As if there's an invisible hand controlling it. Oh, no. I gasp out of fear and it must have heard, heard me. It turns around and starts rushing towards me. Seeing that flesh-seeking mouth aimed at me is enough for me to start running for my life. Oh, shoot. I can't run fast enough because of all the mess on the floor. Just jump over it. Somebody. Help. Help me! My mind is totally blank. It's my first time to encounter one so close. I've run this scenario in my head like a hundred times, but I can't do anything. I don't even know where I'm running to. I'm just running. Oh, no. Is this it for me? My heart is pounding like crazy. I bet you those boys are going to save her. And that's when... This way! Who calls it? Crap. The thud. The zombie collapses, collapses next to me. What's going on? As I'm trying to comprehend this situation. You alright? Hey, you're from the beginning. Uh, who are you? A guy my age holds out his hand towards me. No words. Is he waiting for me to grab his hand? Shouldn't you say thank you first? Forget it. We got no time. We have to move. Nod, nod. Are you hurt? A bunch of guys approach me. I'm not getting any of this. Still confused, I follow them out of the store. Let's get moving. They might come after us. I think they are already after us. They see like some type of soon, but I'm not having it. Almost sim simultaneously, I can't read. I see a horde of zombies hurling towards us. Dang it. Run! Huh? This time, he doesn't wait. Instead, he grabs my hand and starts running. I've not told these guys back. I try to run as fast as I can. I can hear the zombies chasing us right behind us. I'm getting dizzy and out of breath, but I can still feel the warmth of his hand holding mine. It's t like telling me I'm, I'm very much alive. Just like that, I'm running for life. For life with these guys I've never met before. Happy here to see the next episode. Swipe left to your wardrobe. For emergen- Excuse me. For emergencies, you'd better be prepared. Swipe right to find the map to meet with us. You can also check your memorable moments with us here. You're going to help us with repairs around the school. Check out in-app purchases and more useful stuff here. Gifts for the guys are also available. Aw, oh, that's cute. When you give him a gift, you become close with him. Plus, you get to see a short story about the two of you. Need more items? Then tap here. Efficient packages are available. Don't forget to check in daily to win extra rubies. I hope it wasn't too tough. See ya. Good luck today. Oh, wait, no. What was, what was his voice? Good luck. Good luck today. I know you can do this. I, I don't remember what voice I use. Voice. Voice I use. Oh, I got them rubies. Let's see. Let's look at my wardrobe. Oh my goodness, this game is so cool already. Oh, here are their names. Man, I probably should have waited. So, Ethan is the purple hair guy. Harry is the one that we met first. Eugene is the, like, tsundere type. Zion is the one with the crowbar. And Lawrence is the cute one with the glasses. <laughs> Diary. Moments with Harry. Age 18, height 5'9". He's always so nice to me. I can depend on him. Zion, I guess they're all 18. Oh, you're 17. 
Um, he's the cocky one. He could be more friendly. He's the leader here. He's very kind and sweet. Oh, he's the leader. That's awesome. A bit whiny, but he can be cute sometimes. Oh, he's so short. He's really strong. I can totally depend on him. Right? You're short. Yeah, he's the short one. Aw. <laughs> I bet you most people go for him. Or him. These are the two ones I feel like most people would go for. Oh, and him. Oh, and him. And you. And everybody just wants to date all of them. Oh my goodness. It's just Mystic Messenger all over again. So we can repair. Repair. Anyway, guys. That was just an introduction. But that's it for this episode. It was just an introduction. Comment down below if you'd like to see more, though. And... Uh, I'll be posting another one today if we can get this video to 20 likes, maybe 10 likes, depending on you guys. I know you guys can do it, or what you could do is just spam in the comments, and then I'll know that you guys like it. But thank you all for watching this video uh, of the prologue of Dangerous Fellows, and oh my goodness, I am so excited. So please like this and comment, and please subscribe if this is your first video by me. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye.